In human learning, after we learn one skill, such as playing chess, that knowledge does not get erased if we go learn another skill, such as playing soccer. Research has shown that when learning multiple skills in a sequence, humans and animals suffer from only a gradual forgetting of previous skills. Robots and computers, however, behave differently. They suffer from what's called catastrophic forgetting, which means that when one skill is already known, it is lost rapidly as a new skill is learned. Current computational brains, known as artificial neural networks, learn skills by changing their neural connections in response to experiences. Learning a new skill can lead to rapid forgetting of old skills, because the same connections that encoded the old skill are reused to learn the new skill, thus erasing the previously acquired knowledge. Because of catastrophic forgetting, current robots and computers have a difficult time learning many different tasks in a sequence. Being able to avoid such forgetting would greatly increase the benefits robots can provide for society. So how did humans and animals evolve to learn without catastrophic forgetting? Biological brains exhibit a high degree of modularity, meaning they contain clusters of neurons with high degrees of connectivity within clusters, but low degrees of connectivity between clusters. We hypothesize that the evolutionary pressure to form neural modules could help reduce catastrophic forgetting, because a new skill can be learned in a different module than the previous skill, avoiding destructive interference. Normally when evolving neural networks in computer simulation, connections are free. Evolution can use as many connections as it wants without any penalty. This typically leads to the evolution of entangled, non-modular networks, even in cases where modularity would be beneficial for the network. However, a recent experiment demonstrated that when adding a cost of connections to the evolutionary process, evolution tends to reduce the number of connections, resulting in more modular networks. We evolved neural networks in an environment where it was necessary to learn two skills in a sequence. In one experiment, selection was for performance on the tasks alone, but in the other, we added a cost for network connections. The results over 20,000 generations of evolution show that the treatment applying connection costs creates networks with significantly higher performance and modularity than the control treatment guided only by performance. While the connection cost networks are more modular, there is not a separate module for each task. Instead, with a connection cost, evolution created a module for learning skills and a different module for delivering the reward and punishment signals necessary for learning. Networks with this modular decomposition perform better than entangled networks. We believe that the modularity that the connection cost induces has two benefits in the evolved networks. First, as evident from the network structure, modularity makes reinforcement learning more efficient by separating skills from learning signals. Second, we found evidence that the modular connection cost networks did remember old skills more as they learned new skills, indicating that the modularity also reduces interference between different skills, even though it is not as visually apparent as in this drawing. One of the lines of evidence for the advantage of modularity in reducing interference comes from the following experiment. We measured how much networks retain and forget of previous skills as they learn a new skill. The results show that the modular connection cost networks forget their learned skills less and correspondingly retain them better. In another experiment, we wanted to investigate how important the resistance to forgetting is in explaining the increased performance of connection cost networks. To study this, we evolved networks in a situation where they were not allowed to remember old skills as new skills are learned. As previously shown, in the normal situation, the connection cost leads to higher performance. However, in this new situation, where we force forgetting between the learning of different skills, the connection cost no longer yields an increase in performance. This indicates that the increased performance of the modular, sparsely connected networks is specifically related to their ability to avoid forgetting old skills as new skills are learned. Our research shows that evolving neural networks with a connection cost produces more modular networks that can better learn multiple skills without catastrophic forgetting. Further work in this direction 
will help produce more robust robotic controllers, able to learn multiple tasks sequentially, an ability that is essential in the complex and unpredictable environments we find in the real world.